Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be building our pirate ship. So if you can open up your SketchUp for Schools, clicking on a link here within your assignment, you may need to sign in with Google. Here I am. When you sign in, you'll get a screen something like mine here. And we are making a new assignment using feet and inches. One of the complaints people have been giving is that the videos are too slow, so we will speed it up and you can pause it if you need. Best first thing to do is to save, clicking on Untitled, go into your drive. We can save it with your name and Pirate Ship. Click Save here, and we're ready to go. Let's get rid of this guy by clicking on him and Backspace. Off he goes. Now we're going to start with rectangle, come to the origin, click there, and we are going to make a square that is eight feet, so eight apostrophe by six feet, comma six apostrophe, enter, eight by six. Remember to make this, we just click once and pull it out. Come to the Line tool, find the center, click on the midpoint. We're going three feet, three apostrophe. And once you've done that, we can join the triangle. Select the select tool, select this line, backspace to delete it, this line, delete it. Now push pull, pull it up. We know we're going one foot six inches, enter. And now we've got kind of the shape, basic shape of our ship. Rotate so we go underneath. Go find your offset tool. Click in the middle once. Move on the trackpad and we're going one foot, one apostrophe, enter. All right, time for a tricky part. Pay attention. Click on the move tool. Come to the middle of your ship. Click once. Now you are going to press your control key once. You're going to come down. You're going to push up on your keyboard. You're going to push alt on your keyboard. And we're going to type three feet, three apostrophe, enter. All right. Your ship should look like this. If it does not, you may need to go back and look at those steps again. Choose the select tool, triple click, move tool, pick this corner, click once. We're going to go straight up three feet. This way, our ship is sitting on the surface of where we want it to be. All right, move tool, click off into space. Find your offset tool, go into the middle, click once. Oh, that didn't work out. Remember, if you mess up, you can hit hold control and press Z or Z, and that will erase what you just did, or you can click undo right here. I'm still on the offset tool. Come in the middle, click once. Move your trackpad, and we're going in six inches, six quotation mark. Line tool, find the center or the midpoint, and we're gonna pull it all the way along to put a line in there. Let's do push pull. We're going down one foot. Now we're going to come over here on top of this. And we are going to press the control key, click, come up three feet, three feet, enter. Okay, let's finish our cabin area of our ship. You can see it coming along. Back to the offset tool, click in the middle. Mm, that didn't work out. Back up. Mm, goodness. There we go three inches, three inches there. Now watch this part, pay attention. 
push pull, click the middle, and go until you're somewhere on the back here, anywhere along this back. Click, and it will cut that opening out for you. We're going to put a side window in. Again, offset tool on the inside, three inches, push pull, lock it on that back edge to cut out the window. Let's pull up the roof, line tool, find the midpoint on top, and draw a line across the top. Next, move tool, come to that line, click on it, and we're going straight up. If it's not going straight up for you, like oblong, it needs to be on the blue axis like that. If it's not going up, push the up arrow on your keyboard. And we're going up three feet, three feet, enter. Okay, we finished our cabin. Let's put some portholes on the side. So we're going to go to the circle tool, come to the side of our ship. We're going to put somewhere roughly in the middle and a six inch circle, type six apostrophe. Next is we are going to pick the select tool and you're going to double click on the middle of your circle so it will select the inside and the outside. Two finger click on your trackpad or the right click and click make component. We're going to name this port hole. Click the down arrow and make sure this is selected, cut opening and click create. Once we've done that, we can go to the move. You're going to push control. And we're going to pick somewhere on here and pull it along. As long as it says on face, we're good. All right. We're going to do three of those. One, the control to copy another one. Control, copy another one. Make sure they're all on face. Now. We're going to edit these portholes. When we edit them, you'll see they all become the same. Select tool, double click, back into the offset, click once, and we're going to the inside. Make sure it's going to the inside. I might have to zoom in here. There we go. And we're going in one inch. There we go. You see they all changed like they should. Push pull to the outside. Pull out the frame one inch. There we go. Now at this point also if you would like to paint this one. If you'd like to paint those portholes, let's get some glass in there and let's also get I don't know, you want to do a color, you want to do wood, whatever you want on the outside. I'm just going to pick a nice color. Let's do whatever you want. This funny green. This green, this green, this green. Make sure you get it wherever you want it. All right. There we go. Okay, time to add a plank. And our last items, grab the line tool, find the center or the midpoint. It'll be that blue dot. Click once, come straight across. Come here and line it up here, not here, here. Click, push, pull. Where are you, push, pull? I lost my push, pull. Down arrow. There, you saw it. I didn't. There it is, and we are going down one foot, all the way down, and then we're going to go down another six inches. All right, that looks a little thick. Let's go down three inches. There we go. I like that. Pull it out, and then we're going to pull it out again, another three feet. All right. Now we have a plank. 
Good. At any point now, you can go around and you can paint your pirate ship however you want. I'm going to put some shingles on the top there and get around all the sides, paint it however you would like. All right, I'm doing that funny transparent green. All right, time to load some items so the kids can play on their uh, pirate ship. Come to this 3D warehouse. We're going to type in sketch up for schools slide. Load the slide right here. Download. Here's our slide. Click once. Come to the rotate tool. Let's rotate it so it's the other way. So to rotate, I'm going to make sure I'm in the blue. Be my protractor's blue, not a different color. See, it's green there. Blue. Click on the corner once. It's going to rotate around that point. Click where we want to grab it. And let's bring it around 90 degrees, 90. Now we're going to move our slide. You move it, grab it somewhere where you know you can lock it onto there. Let's pull it over. And I will try to get that right there. And if you're a perfectionist, you can get it exactly where you want. I'm not going to take time to get it exactly where I want. You can get it exactly where you want. That's half decent. Okay, let's add a stairs. Stairs. Spell it right. There we go. Add some stairs. We can put these in. Come on, lock on. Lock on, lock on. Come on. Come on, we'll orbit around, find a place. Will it lock anywhere on this ship? And start there. Come on. This is a frustrating program at times. And you just got to keep playing around. And there we go. We got that on there. Getting closer. Getting closer. There we go. And because I'm kind of wanting it in the right spot, I'm going to rotate there to there. Pull it in. Not bad. Okay. We could add a steering wheel maybe too. Catch up for schools. Wheel. There we go. Let's download that. And you can put that in on your ship as well. This looks pretty big. Scale right here. We can make that smaller. And then it's up to you to move it where you want. Make sure we click save. Get it in a good spot. Check and make sure everything looks great. Then go back to your Google Classroom. In your assignment over here, attach with Google Drive. Do you need any help? Make sure you ask. And uh, hopefully you did all right on your SketchUp for Schools pirate ship.